Let's take a quick look at, at how to configure our audio interface and its connections inside of Nuendo. To define the audio interface, go to your Studio menu, to Studio Setup, select VST Audio System on the left hand side, and choose the audio interface in the ASIO driver field. We could select Switch and hit OK. And to define the inputs and outputs that will be used for that audio interface, go to your studio menu to audio connections or hit the F4 key. We could look at inputs, outputs, define groups and effects, external effects, external instruments, and our control room. So if my audio interface has a number of inputs and outputs, there will be pre-configured presets to take advantage of all of the inputs and outputs available on your interface. The interface I have has 28 inputs, so I'll just say I want 28 mono inputs. And this, these will automatically be rippled to be assigned. For my outputs, I select the outputs tab and we could have presets. So if I wanted to have a stereo output or I could choose to have a 5.1 output, we could click on the add bus icon. And now if I wanted it to be a Dolby Atmos output, we could have those configured as well. Groups and effects can also be defined from our VST connections. So if I wanted to add a dialogue group and let's add an effects channel for let's say convolution reverb. We could also define external effects. So if I have a favorite hardware compressor or limiter or EQ, we could configure these to be, let's say a mono in, mono out. And at this point we could define what connections that this is connected to on our audio interface. And we could automatically have delay compensation on our external effects. External instruments can also be defined. And a very powerful aspect is the control room. And a control room allows us to set up a software-based control room. Now to configure this to the best, you may want to actually define the outputs, but choose for these outputs to not be connected. Otherwise, these can be doubly bust. We'll go to our control room and I will just right click. And here we could have different external inputs. So if I wanted to have a reference from a DVD player in 5.1, and maybe we just have an iPad for streaming. So I wanted that to be uh, a stereo input. And if we have different speaker configurations, I could come here and we could say these will be my Yamaha speakers for, and we'll have those for stereo. I wanted to have a, um, another monitor source. And let's say this will be a 5.1 and we'll just call this our HS sevens. And let's say if we have a, another monitor source, uh, we could have up to four different monitors. And let's say if I have a Dolby Atmos JBL system, we can now configure these different outputs. We could have a talk back microphone. We could have cues. So if we are working with voiceover artist, we can configure our different cues. Now, as we work with this, the control room can be a floating window that could be accessed and we could choose our monitors and different down mix presets. And we could just toggle back and forth between our different monitor configurations or to different down mix presets. So if we want to listen to this in Atmos to five, one to stereo to mono, we could just configure our different sources. The control room is also accessible directly on the right hand side here. So we could always have these different functions. And one of the principal, you know, reasons of doing the control room is many times people will use their gain structure of their master fader for volume. But here what we could do is we could have a separate distinct monitoring volume 
that doesn't affect the gain structure of our project. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to get your audio interface and configure the connections for your different requirements in Nuendo.